up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna show you some items that I found at the dollar store for exactly one dollar. The results are insane. I went to the dollar store ranging all across America. Actually, I just used Amazon. You guys know what I'm saying. I searched up dollar store online and then I found these products that you may not heard of at the dollar store. So let's get started. First, I wanna start with this thing. This has been at the office for like probably the whole weekend and everyone is wondering what this thing is. So uh, how about this? Hi right, guys. So, quick question for you. What do you think is inside of this? I think it's a premium wall decal. Oh yeah, that's, that's right, because that's exactly what it says here. <laughs> of what? A world map. A world map. What do you think it is? Roy's face. My face. Okay, what do you think it is? Comment down below. Alright, let's uh... I guess let's open it and find out. Here you go. You can be on there. It's stapled in. Oh, it's stapled. Oh, sorry. BRB, after these brief announcements. Make sure you subscribe! Okay, back to the video! Alright guys, so here you go, open it, and here we go. You guys ready? Ready! This is the best wall decal I found at the dollar store. I think it's funny. Here you go! It's coming! The reveal in 3, 2, 1, drop. Here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, ah. So here you go guys, it's just a massive print of this guy. And uh, of course, it's a giant sticker. Whoa, that's so cool. I know, it's really cool because it's it's not a poster, it's a giant sticker. It's a giant wall sticker, which is pretty awesome. Go. Make sure you don't have any air pockets whenever you do these wall decals or whatnot. Nice! Alright y'all, and there you have it! That was what was inside the little uh, foldable tube thing. Say what's up to my friend Gavin. What's up Gavin? You're gonna hang out for us for a little bit. You'll see him in a video or two or a couple in the background, so you guys know where he came from. Alright, thank you guys. Yep. Alright, so this is the first item from uh, the dollar store that I found. <laughs> Alright, next up I found at the dollar store is this. This is kind of old, I saw this like 10 years ago, but this is called the power balance. It takes all the magnetic forces in your body and it just condenses it, I think, and then just makes you a lot stronger than you usually are. It improves your balance, your strength, your wellness. I don't know how it works usually, but it's just... Whoa, oh my god, that scared me! <laughs> I thought someone was behind me. Look at it. Ooh, that was scary. Gavin, what you doing over there? You gotta stop. Really quickly, let me show you how this works. This improves balance, right? So let me do it to you first, go like that. I'm gonna try to push you down and you try to resist as much as you can, okay? You're falling, you're tripping. You can't go that way. Just hold so be still, just be still. Just try to resist. See, see, no balance, right? Oops. Now we have the power balance, okay? I'm gonna put it on you and just let the, the forces do its magic, okay? All right, you ready? Ready. Here we go, resist it, go. <laughs> okay, wait, does it work? We're not even faking it, okay. Push it, okay. I even tried to resist it, I fell down, but I don't even know if this works. Try the right hand. Let the magnets flow, let it flow through the body, the chakra. Let's go. Ready? And go. I'm like literally not trying anymore. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what? I don't know how this works. Wait, does it really work? I guess. So if you put this thing on, your balance is supposed to be a lot better. So here we go again. Stay still. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Wait, is that better? <laughs> It works when you're upside up or right side up. Does it work well when you're upside down? Okay, push me down. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see if it works now. Let's put it on. Okay, push me down. It works, kind of. All right, here we go. One last test, go. Whoa! It still works though. All right, on to the next item. All right, next item that I found at the dollar store is called Mr. Sniffles. It's an egg separator. I guess it separates the white. Oh, oh, okay. I feel like I can make this in art class. You know, back in like elementary school, you did like pottery and like clay making. 
This is what it is. Let me read how to use this. Break egg into separator. Tilt the separator 45 degrees. Tipping no further will allow reach scrambled eggs. So it just takes away all the white parts of the egg and only leaves the yellow part. So here we go. Let's see if it works. I have here an egg. There you go. Just pour it into here. Very good. The egg is all just chilling. All you want to do is tilt it 45 degrees. I don't know geometry, but oh, look at that. And then look at that. Look at, look at his face. Big booger. That's so funny, dude. Whoa. Okay. Wow, this is actually working really nicely. Wow. So all the white parts are gone really quickly. That was good. So the only thing left should be the yolk. So here we really quick. Let's see if it's actually the yolk. Wow. Wow. That worked beautifully. Look at that. It's just all the yellow part. That is crazy. Wow. I'm going to pour this back here because that was just so fun to watch. Wow, big thumbs up for Mr. Sniffles. I'm just really shook. That was really cool. Right, Gavin? Right, high five. All right, on to the next item. All right, next item I found at the dollar store is called Create a Road. You basically create a road for this little car, and then you just ride the car around and let it do its thing. Ooh, that'd be so cool if I get like a whole bunch of these and then connect them all together and make one huge racetrack around this whole entire office. You guys want to video that? Let's get this video to 200,000 likes. It comes with four little track things. I guess just snip it through, right? That's how it works. Oh yeah, really easy to even assemble. It's like really, yeah, you just snip it through. Wow, this is literally a perfect circle. Like, look at that. Daylight, I got me feeling like right? It's like the Gambino cover. Now, what you want to do is grab this car. Unboxing is always the hardest thing because they always make sure they're super secured, which is a good thing. But unboxing it is just very annoying. Now, let's get these palm trees. We have a little bit of palm trees in this little thing. -ish. Oh, they're freestanding palm. Okay, there you go. Palm trees here. Last but not least, we got some little army men right here. They gotta make sure this truck is dead. Make sure they blow it up with all these grenades. Now, get your truck, turn it on, and now it should move in the circle perfectly from what I hear. Whoa! What? <laughs> All right, this is a little bit crazy. Maybe I'm supposed to put it in first and then turn it on. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Wow! It's gonna go in circles, man. Okay, let's get this army man here. Oh! Here's another one. Oh, oh, okay. All right, I didn't know you liked to play like that one. Okay, here we go, go. Oh! Here's a tree, make sure you run this tree over. Oh no, oh no! It's still going! It's still going! This is called the uh, the card trick shot. Okay, that works. I guess that works. It's still spinning. On to the next item. All right, next item we have is this dog. I'm just kidding. You need a dog to use this next item. We have here Ruby's Pet Shop Afro Wig. It's an afro for dogs. So I have here Oogie, my adorable Oogie. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You're the best. I love you so much. So today we're going to give Oogie here a makeover. If you haven't followed him already, go to Instagram.com slash Oogie Monster. O-O-G-I-M-O-N-S-T-E-R. You unwrap the package. It comes with a little wig. <laughs> You're going to love this. Oogie. Here you wait, 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 wait. I know, I know. It's not a treat. It's not a treat, Oogie. I know you think it's a treat. Wait, 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 wait. This is not, what is this? No, this is not turkey. No, it's not. Here we go. Just hold still, Oogie. <laughs> wait! Don't move. Good boy. <laughs> look at him. Look, look. He has hair. He has hair. Why are you so, he look so weird? Why are you so weird? You like your hair? Oh, he loves it. You look very intellectual. Like you, you feel like, I feel like you're gonna win a Nobel Prize for making dog food electric vehicles. What? You're the best. Mwah! Next time I bring him to the groomer, I'm gonna make sure he has this thing on and then be like, can you just cut his hair off? <laughs> Here, you want some bacon? There you go. Make sure you reward them for being so cute and adorable, right? Next item I have, it's also for dogs, Puff and Fluff. It's a dog dryer, so whenever you give your pet a bath, they get super wet and it's get very annoying. They seem to tend to dry themselves off on your bed, on your couch, but what better way to dry them out than to use the Fluff and Fluff. So it's really simple. You just put it on your dog, 
and then you put a, uh, I guess a hair blower into it, and then it just poofs. I don't have a hair blower in the office. I have here a leaf blower. That all, that's like the same thing. So here we go. Let's uh, try it out. So this is what it looks like. It comes like a, there's a little dangling thing right here, and then you stick your dog into here. That's it. I think. Good boy. You're so calm. And then you just stick their hands and feet into the holes. All right. So once you have properly uh, put the thing on the dog. The dog should look like this. Yeah, you doing okay? Like, Oogie, he's a cool dog because he doesn't mind doing things. He just kind of just stands there. And then as long as you give him bacon, just like, thank you. Just imagine Oogie's like wet and you know, I just give him a bath or whatnot. So stick that in here. Don't get scared. It's just air. You'll be fine. And go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. See, it's not that bad, right? This kind of looks weird. It's kind of like a scientist experiment that you're like putting stuff into the dog. You doing okay, dude? Good boy! <laughs> you doing okay? You doing okay? I can see how this thing can frighten dogs, but you know Oogie is a good sport. You're okay, right? You're still alive. So uh, yeah, that's it. It kind of looks really weird. Yeah! That was cool, I guess. I guess next time I give him a shower, I'm just gonna use this. Setup takes a long time. I don't know why you don't just, you know, just blow dry them directly. I think that'd be a lot easier. All right, here we go. Next up, we have this thing. I found this at the dollar store as well. It's like 50 cents. It is a phone holder. It's a cute phone holder. Yeah. Whoa. That's weird. It smells like bread, dude. Smell it. It doesn't taste like bread. It tastes like alcohol. That was weird. It's a phone holder, you know, you just kind of stick it there. And then you just grab your phone. You can just stick your phone right here. And then it'll just chill. Wow. Wow. If you want to, you can stack two phones in there. Wow. And then if you want to, you can stack three phones in here. Wow. For the price of a dollar? This is not bad. It smells like bread. It's cute. It looks kawaii AF. Look at that. He's so happy. He's like, he farted really badly, but not really. He's trying. I think he's struggling because he can't carry the weight of three phones, but it's okay. He smells like bread, so it balances out. All right. Next up, we have this thing. This is uh, called Ruggy. It's actually $2. It's not actually $1. It's a rug that acts as an alarm clock. So really simple. If you don't understand what I'm saying, let me just show you. So let's do the whole unboxing process here. Wow. I'm gonna open it. Oh, oh, what's it? Can I come out with it? Wow. Honestly, just a rug. Let's unwrap. Yes. So what it does, you put it next to your bed, and then when you wake up in the morning, or if you're trying to wake up in the morning, this will alarm, okay? And then the only way to turn it off is to stand up and put all your weight into it and stand there for a certain amount of time and it'll turn off. This thing will force you to get up. Here's how it works. This is the bottom part. This is the top part. And uh, if you want to set the alarm, go ahead and unzip it. It'll come out with these little, you know, this little interface. And from here, you can set the time. You can set whatever you want using this thing. So let's set the time real quick. Let's just say it is 12. Sure. And then the this is a loud alarm clock. Currently 11:44. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's 11:44. And uh, let's set the time or the alarm clock to 11:45. Put it on the ground right here, and then I'm gonna pretend like I'm sleeping. Okay? Here we go. This is gonna suck. Like you honestly really do have to get up and stand on it. That's so annoying. I, I already hate alarm clocks. See, this is where you're like, I don't want to get up. All I want to do is lay in bed. You can try, you can try your best to sleep it off, but it's just going to keep ringing. So let's just say you want to snooze. 
but you can't snooze because that sound is annoying. Look at it. It's beeping. I don't want to get up. Okay, so I do want to get up. Let's get up. So you have to actually stand on it for it to turn off. So here we go. I guess it senses when you're standing. I guess it's like a smart rug where it stops beeping when it knows you're standing up. It's gonna alarm in like one minute, probably less than that. So let's just see if it actually works. So let's pretend that we're not standing next to it. It's gonna ring now, pretty soon. Like right now. There it is. All right, here we go. Let's turn it off. There you go. I guess that's how it works. It takes three seconds to turn off. You guys can wake up, right? You gotta just do three seconds and you out. All right, thank you all for watching today's weird products I found at the dollar store. If you want some more of me getting weird products somewhere else, comment down below what store you want me to go to next and grab some random stuff. Till then, I guess I'll see y'all next time. Stay juicy, my guava juicers. Got a blast.